What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I got uh, something special today. I got a new bike. Check it out. The Jackrabbit. This is Jackrabbit. I, uh, I've had my eye on this for a while. Always wanted to pick one up but never really had a reason to. It's not for me. It's for my dad. We recently got my dad a Zoos but he has uh, arthritis in his hip so he can't kind of step over and get onto the bike easily without feeling a lot of pain. So I figured this might be the solution. The Jackrabbit OG. It's a short one, small one. So I'll do a little unboxing. I think the assembly is like maybe two steps. I think you just gotta put the handlebars on and spin the wheel around. Uh, owner's manual. I think this is a charging stuff. Put that here. And uh, get some of these blocks out of here first. Wow, this thing is so tiny. Uh, let's see, I think that's it. And of course, you know I had to get yellow. <laughs> Oop, all right, all right. Let me get my scissors so I could clip all these things off and we'll get this going. like there's a little pin here that you push in and then you can spin this baby around there we go okay and then the handlebars go on that's it easiest assembly ever And you just lock this baby down. And that's it. Now that she's all set up and tires are inflated, just waiting on a full charge and then I'm going to go give it a test run. Uh, <laughs> this is pretty funny. I feel like a giant on this thing. So technically it is a... Um, Technically, it's a scooter because it doesn't have pedals, so it's not a bike. And the top speed, uh, of which they claim is 20, keeps it under, you know, all of the regulations for bikes and classes of bikes. So it's kind of neat. There's no speedometer. There's no electronic display of any kind. It's just um, your battery meter, the throttle, a little bell, and um, a rear brake. No front brake, it's just um, a standard 
it's just a standard disc brake it's not hydraulic so you know you have to um you have to learn to anticipate your braking if you're going to catch some high speeds uh so i just want to take this around the block really this is fun and it's like uh I feel like all the old Asian guys that I see riding around in my neighborhood on, on these little tiny bikes. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's fun, I gotta say, I tried Steven's. Steven has the XG, it's got like um, a little stronger of a motor. I think it's 500 watts and this is 300. And it's also got um, two battery slots instead of one, so he's got better range. This is like a 10 mile range, he's got like 20. And uh, as far as I know, Jackrabbit also sells a, like a range buster battery that's big and chunky and uh, it'll get you more mileage. And I think that fits with both the XG and the OG models. So if dad doesn't like this and I, and I end up taking this back, I'm gonna have fun with it. Uh, I might juice up the motor a bit. Maybe I'll get some better brakes and definitely um maybe put some bmx handlebars on this swap out the grips for something yellow you know customize it make it fun not that it isn't fun now it's very fun so i'm going to take this on house and i'm going to take a right here i'm going to do my traditional speed run loop it is a little gloomy right now i don't know if it's going to rain but I don't want to risk it. I'm just gonna, just gonna gun this thing home. <laughs> Get a full charge on it. I'm still not at a full charge. It was, um, it showed a full charge on the display, but when you plug it in, it's the little right, the light is still red. So that means it's got some more to go. And hopefully our GPS is, is in order so I can get a good accurate speed uh, as I'm coming down here on FDR drive. Hopefully I don't get crushed by traffic. <laughs> and then, uh, and man, I can't wait to take this out to my dad. I'm gonna surprise the shit out of him and just uh, show up unannounced with this thing. Oh, of course we have a, a car that's doing something here. <whistles> Idiot. All right, here we go. We're getting some, we're getting some speed. I can feel already like the wind, it's very windy today. The wind definitely drags a little bit. You can feel the, uh, the bike slow down. It also, I think has a little bit of, um, maybe the speed limiter is on, maybe there's a speed limiter on here. Cause I could feel kind of like it, it holding back when I know that I could go faster. What's this guy doing? More idiots on the road. What are you doing? jackasses so I mean maybe we got 20 I'm sure it does 20 I'm a little heavier than average but not a fat guy by any means only in spirit and in appetite okay nice fun test ride <laughs> I put the first mile on it yeah this is fun he's gonna like this I hope I hope he I, I sort of hope he doesn't like it, but <laughs> I hope he likes it. I really do. He's going to like it. All right. Let's get a full charge and then head up to Penn Station. Take the train out. All right. So I'm on uh, 14th Street. Cutting across. I'm going to take this right on 8th Avenue and head up to Penn Station. So far, it's been a smooth ride. I'm gonna uh, probably stick in the bike lane on 8th Avenue just to keep it safe and steady. Get over there now. A lot of roads are ripped up right now for, uh, you know, repaving, repairs.
I have to get used to the uh, the pickup on this. It's a little bit uh, sluggish to get up to speed. Obviously, I'm used to a little bit more torque, <laughs> but uh, it's pretty fun. I gotta say, I can see the appeal to this to this little guy. Cruising up. 17th Street and 8th Avenue. It's a nice day. Sun uh, came through, cleared up. No more gloom. Got this a uh, little bit of a green wave right here. Absolutely flying up 8th Avenue. <laughs> oh man. Ooh, some big broken glass there. There's a lot of broken glass on this on this ride. Saw some earlier too on 14th Street. Oh, garbage truck. What have we got here? See how we can maneuver around these chuckleheads. Yeah, there we go. It's nimble. It's a nimble little bike. I guess this uh, this video can serve as a little bit of a review too. Even though it's really just like two rides. The test ride, speed ride, or whatever, and now this. Oh, bumps. Let's see, 27. Oh, we're almost there. That was quick. So much construction on the streets, man. I don't I swear, it's crazy. There's like holes in the road everywhere now. It feels more, more so than ever before in the city. Construction, ripped up roads, holes in the roads. I don't know what's going on in this city. All right, coming up on the garden. Okay. So I'm going to have to uh, cross over the other side of 8th Avenue and just go right down, right down the stairs. Yeah. It's the old post office. I think I'll go down, where can I go down? Right here on the corner? Can't remember. Yeah, right there. All right, cool. Gonna wait for traffic. Penn Station. All right. Attention, please. This is a boarding call for Amtrak Northeast Regional Train 160 on route to Boston with Turn this baby off. Stops. Passengers should proceed to track 14 left. Alright, so here we are. I gotta get over to the Long Island Railroad side. This way. All right, you know what? Let me shut this down. See you on the train.
right, we made it. I am uh, right now back in my hometown of Oakdale, Long Island. The pavement is way better. <laughs> I am about a, I don't know, three or four minute ride to, uh, to my parents' house. Oh, I got a little squeak in the brake. All right. It's passing by my, uh, my old junior high school. Seventh to ninth grade. Back in the old BMX days. <laughs> All right, taking this right here. Gonna go through a small apartment complex. Mainly because I wanna avoid the hill that's on the other side uh, of my parents' neighborhood. So I figured this would be a little better. Cruising. It's nice to ride on uh, smooth pavement, you know, like the city, you're always wondering about potholes and stuff. Out here, it's like smooth sailing. I rode my dad's Zuza out here and it, it's just like freedom. It's just the ultimate feeling. Smooth, fresh pavement, no traffic, no psychos on the road. You just like, on, especially on like neighborhood streets like this, you could just gun it. It's so cool. Ah, the sounds of the suburbs. Yeah, see right there, I probably would have hit like 25 miles an hour, but I felt the motor kick off. So there's something, there's something limiting the speed on this, which is fine. It's good for my dad. I want him to get hurt. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, for me, like for, if this was gonna be mine, I would wanna unlimit that somehow, just so that I could get the natural speed of this thing rather than have it arbitrarily shut off at 19, 20. All right, so we're on my parents' street right now. Yeah, there's a little bit of a down pitch on this road and I would have definitely hit a higher speed than 20 just now. Man, the neighborhood looks different. Maybe coming from this side. I usually come from the other side. All right, here we go. Let's get the reaction from my dad. He's gonna be confused. Hey. Look at that cute thing. Hey. Hey. Man. What's up? <laughs> nice bike. How's it going? It's yours. That is a... It's yours. This one, will you be able to get on this one better? The All zoos right. is too hard for your hips. Well, I don't know. Give it a try. There's no, there's no pedals. It's just throttle. It's just throttle. This is on off, real easy. Okay. There's your brake in the back, and All you right. put your feet on those little pegs there. Oh. There's a bell. Home with a big one. Jeez. <laughs> oh my god, it's so cute. There you go. Oh yeah,
It's fun, right? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? It's flat. What do you think? It's cute. It's good. The other one wasn't the problem, but oh. it was a little high up for me in the back. Yeah, the hip. The hip. Yeah, this one you can just climb right on. Yeah, it's super easy. Yeah. Hey, nice. There's a little kickstand in the back. Right here. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Are you going to sell this? Yeah. Yeah, unless you unless Frank wants it. Frank was saying he really likes it and then you guys could ride together. You got a fleet of e-bikes now. <laughs> My friend was like, "Your dad must be the coolest guy on the block." Yeah. Well, as you can see, I'm walking back in the city. So that means my dad liked the jackrabbit and I left it there. So success, I suppose. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your family, and tell your fucking grandma.